Colombian Coconut Seafood Stew. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. An amazing dish, very easy to make in only four steps. Now our first step is doing the sofrito and we're going to do it with our olive oil, onion, this is white onion that we chopped, garlic, turmeric, this was fresh turmeric that I chopped and froze. You can use powdered turmeric or you can use saffron. Then we have a tablespoon of Chef Pachi's seafood spice mix. You can use Old Bay too or you can use an adobo spice for seafood. Our bell pepper that I had frozen and I'll send you the link of the video where I teach you how to freeze it and keep it ready to be used anytime. Salt and pepper and we are going to cook all of these ingredients for about 6 minutes. So we're cooking these ingredients at medium high temperature and we're going to take out about a tablespoon of this sofrito and half a cup of shrimp stock and place it in another pan where we are going to cook our mussels. So now that our first step is done, let's start with a second one. We're going to add some shrimp stock and some coconut milk that I mix either with flour or cornstarch. Cornstarch if you want it to be gluten free. We add our milk, our stock and our seafood and we are going to cook this for about 10 or 15 minutes. The coconut milk protects the seafood and the shrimp. It cooks it but it doesn't allow it to become hard or stringy. So it's perfect. Use the best quality coconut milk you can because that's going to make a good seafood stew. Don't buy the 45 calorie coconut milk because that's going to give you a watered down seafood stew. After these have cooked for about 10 to 15 minutes, we add our wine. And in this case, we're adding champagne because we had some champagne that we had opened. With our parsley and cilantro already added, we mix and cook for another 10 to 12 minutes. Add a pinch of salt and pepper extra at the end for the seafood that we just added. Now we go to our other pan where we had our sofrito and our shrimp stock. We bring it to the boil and add our mussels. I'm going to add the stems of some cilantro that I had left over. Add them because they add beautiful aroma and flavor. Once they come to a boil, 5-7 minutes later they start opening up. The ones that don't open, you don't have to add. And this is all we need to finish our soup. So remember, we had our sofrito, then we added the milks and the seafood, then we added our wine, and fourth and last, our mussels and some lime juice. These are the four steps of making your perfect seafood stew that you're gonna love and make again and again. Super simple, you can buy your seafood separate like I did. I bought shrimp and I bought mixed seafood and I bought mussels. Or you can buy them separate, buy the ones you prefer the most. This is a recipe from Secrets of Colombian Cooking, my book that's been out on bookstores since 2003. Enjoy delicious Colombian food. Serve it with patacones, plantains, white rice. And enjoy the beautiful flavors of the tropics. Here I add the lime juice into the whole cazuela soup. You can serve it on the side if you want, but I'd rather add it to the whole mix because it brings out a lot of all of those flavors that we have inside. The bell pepper, the onions, the herbs, the spices, and the seafood, and it brings them all together into a beautiful dish. So enjoy this family dish. It makes about six to eight servings, depending on how much you eat. And enjoy! Shepachi!